What's going on guys, it's Hi with the Upper Left USA, and today I'm going to share with you five accessories that I have and use with my Leica M6. The first accessory that we'll be looking at is the bag that I use to hold my Leicas. This is the Peak Design Sling 5 liters. I won't be going very in depth in this video about this bag because I've actually already made a dedicated video on this product and that'll be linked in the cards in the top right corner of this video. If you're interested in learning more about the bag, definitely check that video out. But just to summarize things up, the exterior is constructed from a weatherproof 400D nylon canvas shell with a water resistance zipper that allows for access to the main compartment. This of course means that the bag performs very well in inclement weather. The bag has a variety of pockets both on the outside and inside. I don't actually use too many of these pockets because for me, this bag is meant for a minimalist setup. One body, one lens, and some film. That's about it. The only pocket that I use is the front pocket where I store some additional batteries for the M6 just in case the one in the body were to die out. Everything else is in the main compartment. I have my M6 with the Zeiss Planner 50mm f2 in the center and some film cases on either side. Each one of these cases hold 10 rolls of film, so this main compartment alone can hold at least 20 rolls of film. If you need some more space, the top flap has another pocket that can be used to hold whatever fits in there, but these small pockets are actually perfect for a few extra rolls of film. So all in all, this bag not only holds the M6 adequately, but it can hold films to last me for weeks if not months. Next let's look at the strap that I use on my M6. I personally like to use the strap on all of my cameras because this allows me to let go of the camera while still having it out and of course, it provides me with some sense of security against accidental drops. The strap that I've been using is one made from paracord and is actually made by myself. I've made a tutorial showing how to make these paracord camera straps so if you're interested in making one for yourself, check out the card in the corner of this video. These straps are actually available for sale at theupperleftusa.com slash shop if you'd just like to purchase one in the color of your choice instead of making it yourself. On the silver chrome Panda M6, I used this urban camo strap, and for this black paint M6, I think I've decided to go with this solid red strap to get some contrast against the solid black camera. The next accessory is one that I've used on all of my M mount bodies, and that is a grip. Just by design, M-mount bodies aren't exactly the most ergonomic options on the market. They're generally just pill-shaped blocks of metals, and there aren't really any place for you to firmly wrap your hands around. This can be uncomfortable over time, and that's where an external grip comes into play. The one that I use is called the M-grip. I just love the way M-mount cameras look with this thing, and it actually helped me with my original decision to get a Leica because I just think this grip makes the camera look so badass. Aside from looks, I think this grip actually improves the comfort of the camera tremendously. That being said, I've been using this grip on and off on this particular M6 and have ultimately decided to stop using it for now because of this black paint finish. If you didn't know, the black paint like a finish actually wears off over time and shows how the user has been holding the camera and how they have been using it. When the grip is installed, it actually provides a good amount of protection for the bottom plate. There is a lip that wraps around the bottom plate and it of course also gives the camera a platform to sit on. Generally this would be a really good thing, but on this particular camera, I actually want the finish to wear off and show the patina look. So until the finish wears off, I'll probably be leaving this off, which is a shame because like I said, in my opinion this thing makes the camera look so much better, and of course, it makes the camera so much more easy to handle. For the third accessory, we have a soft release for the shutter release button. If you look at the shutter release button on the M6, there's actually some female threading that is originally intended to be used with a mechanical shutter release cable. If you're not using the cable, you can get one of these soft release buttons which essentially just screws into the shutter release of the camera. This raises the shutter release up a bit and provides a larger surface area for the shutter release. This is meant to give you more control and reduce vibration when pressing the shutter release button. This means that you can fire the shutter at a slower shutter speed and have a better chance of getting sharp images. There are many variations of the soft shutter release. Some are concave like this particular one that I use, some are convex, some are flat, and some can be extra extravagant as manufacturers actually carve a design into the soft shutter release itself. This of course also provides another way for individual users to accessorize their cameras and make it more unique. The last accessory that I have for you guys is the lens tab. 
This is not an accessory for the M6 itself, but more for the lenses that you attach to the body. The lens tab is essentially just a rubber ring that slips over the focusing ring of the lens and provides you with the functions of a lens tab like those on some Leica made lenses. If you are not familiar with M mount or rangefinder lenses, you may have never even seen a lens with a built in lens tab. Well, they're pretty straightforward. The tab just provides you with a place to rest your finger and allows you to push and pull on the focusing ring with less effort. This is just an alternative way of manually focusing, rather than say a lens with just a typical focusing ring, or lens with a nub like those on the Zeiss M mount lenses. I personally prefer to have a nub or a tab on my manual focus lenses because it provides you with a point of reference when manually focusing. With some practice you can get used to the tab, its position, and associate that with a certain focusing distance. Let's say in this particular case, if I put the tab in the center of the lens, that means I'm focusing at about 5 feet and over time I can learn to remember what distance is associated with where the lens tab is positioned. Now you may have noticed that I'm actually using my lens tab on my Zeiss lens that already has a focusing nub. This may seem redundant and really it is. But I just personally prefer to have the tab over the nub. The nub works in most situations but when I have it in the extremes, at minimum and infinity focus, I find that it is difficult to make the nub go in the opposite direction. The lens tab design fixes this for me and I much more prefer to use a lens with the tab than the nub. I do have one complaint, and it is not with the product, but with the company. They are located in the US, but they take forever to ship in stock products and do not respond to messages. It took LensTab over 2 weeks to ship this thing to me, and a total of 3 weeks before I even received it. Just keep that in mind, the product works and does what it's supposed to, but customer service from the manufacturer sucks. And there you have it guys, 5 accessories for the Leica M6. And these are accessories that I use day in and day out on my camera. And would highly recommend to anybody who's looking to spice up the look of the M6 itself. Or just looking to improve the ergonomics and functions of the camera. It's important to note that although this video is geared towards the Leica M6 owner, these accessories are for the most part universal and will work on your camera whether you own a Leica M mount body or a camera from some other manufacturer. The camera bag, the camera strap, and the lens tab are universal. If your camera fits in the bag, it fits and you can use it. Pretty much every camera has strap lugs, so it's not too hard and that's pretty straightforward. As far as the lens tab, it comes in multiple sizes, so just pick out the one that fits for your lens. The grip is a little bit different because if you're interested in the one that I have, the M grip, that item is actually discontinued and it's going to be a little bit hard to actually come across. I personally bought my M grip on eBay and it does periodically pop up on there. If you're interested in picking up the M grip specifically, eBay will probably be your best bet. Just keep searching and keep refreshing until the right grip shows up. If you however are not interested in the M grip particularly and are just looking for any other grip, just do a Google search because there are plenty of other grips for the Leica M6 and really any other Leica M mount camera. For me personally, I would probably say that the grip is the most important accessory for my Leica M6. Like I said earlier, if it wasn't for me actually wanting to brass up this M6 and show the cosmetic wear over time, I would absolutely use the M grip on this body because having a grip overall on the M6 body or pretty much every other M mount body tremendously improves the ergonomics and just the comfort over a long shooting period. Moving to the soft shutter release, that accessory is also a little bit different because newer cameras tend to not use a mechanical shutter release cable like this one. So they do not have the actual threading on the shutter release button itself, which ultimately means that you can't screw in the soft shutter release button. If this is your camera and you're interested in the soft shutter release look, I know that some manufacturers actually make a stick on version where it's essentially just a sticker and you peel it off and stick it onto your shutter release button. But for the most part, these accessories are all universal. One item or another will work on your camera whether you own a Leica M mount body or not. If you're interested in any of the items that I've mentioned in this video, I try to include links in the description below to point you towards the right places. And especially if you're interested in the Peak Design Sling 5 liter bag that I've shown, check out the link in the description where if you use it, you get 10% off any order from the Peak Design website. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, share this video around, comment down below with any questions that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content to come. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time.